Hadid, do your thing. I can't. Why not? Why not? I just can't, guys. Why, Why not? Because my back aches, my belt suit tight, my booty shakes from the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right. Peanut butter, Reese's cup, sing the song that pumps you up. Bang, bang, choo choo train. Come on, Jillian, do your thing. I can't. Why, Why not? not? I just can't. Why, Why not? not? Cause my back aches, my belt too tight, my booty shakes from left to right to left to the right. To left to right to left to right. Peanut butter, Reese's cups, and your song about drinking back. Bang, bang, choo choo train. Come on, Taylor, do your thing. I can't. Why, Why not? not? I just can't. Why, Why not? not? Cause my back aches, my belt too tight, my booty shakes from the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right. Peanut butter Reese's cup in the song that cheers you up. Bang bang choo choo train. Come on, Krista, do your thing. But I can't. Why, Why not? not? I just can't. Why, Why not? not? Because my back aches, my belt's too tight, my booty shakes from the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right. Peanut butter Reese's cup. Sing a song that cheers you up. Bang, bang, choo-choo train. Come on, Jack, do your thing. I can't. Why not? I just can't. Why not? Because my back aches, my belt suit tied, my booty shakes from the left to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Peanut butter Reese's cups. Sing a song that cheers you up. Bang, bang, choo-choo train. Come on, Layla, do your thing. I can't. Why, Why not? not? I just can't. Why, Why not? not? Cause my back aches, my belt suits tight, my booty shakes from left to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right, to the left, to the right. Peanut butter, beast of stuff. Sing a song that cheers you up. Bang, bang, choo choo train. Come on. Josie, do your thing. Jo I can't. Why not? Why not? not? I just can't. Why, Why not? not? You see, well, my back aches, my belt too tight, my booty shakes from the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right to the left to the right. Peanut butter Reese's cups. Bring us so much you up. Bang bang, choo choo train. That is the end because we did our things. Ooh. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Yay. Hi everyone, welcome to Virtual Softball. I am so excited that we get to do a virtual camp this year. I know it's not quite the same, but I'm so excited that we all get to do this together and that you guys get to experience this from home. So if I don't know you, my name is Brooke. I live in San Diego, California, and I've been coming to camp for 11 years. At camp, I am the softball clinician, so I'm going to try my best to do some of the things we do at camp and some new stuff that we can do either in our homes, in our backyards, or whatever space you guys are working in today. We're gonna go over some basic drills. So you can use a softball or a baseball. If you don't have that, you can use anything that is kind of the shape of a ball. You can roll up socks, you can use a toy ball. I am using tennis balls and these little squishy golf balls that I had lying around. I do have my glove with me, so I'm going to be using my glove. If you don't have a glove, you can use an oven mitt, you can wrap a towel around your hand, or you can just use your bare hand too if you're not using a hard softball or baseball. For batting, I left all of my bats at camp, so I'm actually using paper towels. You can use wrapping paper, a broom, a mop, anything that is a stick shape, or if you wanna use your bat, go ahead and do that. We are going to be doing some target practice. So for that, I'm using my laundry hamper. You can use a trash can, you can put a hula hoop on the ground, a laundry hamper, or just pick a spot on the floor. And for another target practice, I'm actually gonna hang this hanger up on my wall and try to aim right through the hanger. So most people probably have hangers at home if you want to use that. If not, you can just pick a spot on the wall. Um, or you can aim at a picture frame, anything that is hanging up on your wall. 
And again, if you guys are working outside and you want to use your bat, ball, and glove, that's totally fine too. These are just some options that I think most people probably have in their home. All right. If you guys know me, you know that my favorite place in the entire world is the Antiochian Village. That is where we get to go for sports camp every year, and it just has a really special place in my heart. And something else that is very cool is that we get to use the facilities around town during camp. So for softball, we are fortunate enough that the high school lets us use their really nice softball field. I am very clearly stranded in my apartment in Southern California this summer but some of our friends got to go down to camp and do some filming around town and around camp. So I'm so excited for you to get to see where we go for softball a couple days a week. Heather and Pickle and Enzo Machetta are gonna give us a little tour. Here we are at the softball field where the team travels on three days during the week at camp. Here you see the infield and there's the outfield. You can see that yellow top of the fence. There's a challenge every year that if anybody hits a home run over that yellow fence, they get to choose something silly for Brooke to do during mealtime. Here's the rest of our field. We'll go inside one of the dugouts. You can see where they get to hang out if it's a hot day to get out of the sun while they're waiting to come to bat. There's our dugout. There's home plate. Here's our terrific pitching mound. So thanks for watching our tour of the softball field. Go. guys are working with somebody go ahead and grab them if you're working by yourself don't worry there's gonna be a ton of options for you guys to do the skills by yourself too again I'm so excited that we get to do this together so let's get started we are gonna do some catching practice here in three two one action all right guys so the first day at camp the first drill we always go over is just basic throwing and catching this is normally Monday morning. So if you have a softball glove, go ahead and use that. If you don't, you can wrap a towel around your hand, you can use an oven mitt, or you can just use your hand, that's totally fine. I am going to use a tennis ball and these little squishy golf balls since I'm inside. But if you are outside and wanna use a baseball or a softball, anything else, that's fine too. So we're just gonna go over, again, basic throwing and catching like we would on the first day of camp. So once you have your glove on your hand or oven mitt or bare hand, whatever you're using, you are going to face it outward so that when the ball's coming at you, it's ready to go straight into your glove. You're gonna go ahead and protect your face a little bit, but keep it below your eyes so you can still see where the ball is coming from. And once the ball's in your glove, you're gonna close it. Once you have it in there, we are going to make sure we don't drop it by covering our glove with our hand. So I'm gonna practice right now with some tennis balls and little golf balls. So right there, I could still see that it was kind of coming low because I wasn't covering my eyes. It came in, closed my glove, and protected it with my hand. So we're gonna do a few more. Ooh. So same thing there. I was below my eyes so I could see it was coming high and it came into my glove, closed my glove, and protected it so I didn't drop it. We're gonna use these little tiny golf balls now that are kind of hard to see. And if you are doing this by yourself right now and you're not at home with family or friends, what you can do is just throw it up to yourself and do the same thing. You can throw it up, 
catch it, protect it with your hand. So when you're catching, you always want to make sure that you are, one, putting your glove where the ball is coming from. So if the ball is coming from up here, you're looking at the ball, your glove is kind of in front of the ball. So I'm gonna have somebody just throw me a couple. I don't know where they're gonna come from. They might come low, they might come high, but my glove is always going to be directed at where the ball is coming from. So that last one was a really good example. It wasn't really close to me, it was kind of over here. So I kept my eye on it, my glove went over to it, same thing, closed my glove and put my hand over it. Another good example is if you have pets, watch how when you throw it to your pet, their eyes follow exactly where the ball is. So some of you guys know, but some of you don't. This is my dog Ava and she's a really good example. So I have the ball, right? Oh, she's saying hi and when I throw it to her in a minute here, you can see where her eyes are gonna follow the ball. All right, friends, get your balls and your gloves because we are gonna do some throwing practice in three, two, one. Okay hey guys, so we are gonna do a very basic throwing drill. Let's say you just caught a ball, you're ready to throw it. Whatever foot is the same side as your glove, you're gonna step forward with that foot and point your glove where you are trying to throw the ball. So that's a really good way to aim is to take your foot and your glove and point where you wanna go. You are kind of gonna make a T with your body, I guess, and your hand should be back here. And when you go to throw, let go just about right where your glove is. So if I'm trying to throw really high, I'm gonna put my glove high and let go of the ball right there. If I'm trying to throw straight forward, I'm gonna go ahead and make my tee like this and let go of the ball right there. If you need a target, you can pick a spot on your wall. I actually put my hanger right here. So that is gonna be my target. I don't know if I can do it, we can see. But again, you're gonna step, point your glove, and throw. Woo! And if you are inside, be very careful. But again, we're gonna step, point our glove, and throw. And you can pick any spot on the wall, you can tape something up there, but go ahead and take a minute and get whatever materials you're gonna use, and we can do it a few more times. I am ready to do some throwing practice with you guys now. Hopefully you have got the steps down. Remember, step forward, point where you're trying to throw and go over and you're gonna let go right about eye level if that's where you're aiming. If you're trying to throw high, you're gonna let go higher. If you're trying to throw low, you're gonna let go lower. Normally we are, well, all of the time, we are throwing to someone. So we wanna let go right about eye level. So we're gonna point and let go right about there, right at eye level. I have these tennis balls and these little squishy golf balls, but again, you can roll up socks and use that. You can even wad up some tape, um, some gloves, whatever, paper towels, anything to make a ball shape. I am going to use, again, these little golf balls and this tennis ball, so let's get started. I'm gonna try to throw it right at my phone, so let's see how this goes. We're gonna step and point over and throw that was actually a very accurate throw because i hit my phone right in the camera and knocked it over so let's go again i'm gonna try to go above my phone a little bit this time so i don't knock you guys over we are going to step point over and throw you can kind of see it bounce back in front of the camera because it's going right off my wall step point over throw Step, point, over, throw. Guys, I'm getting nervous. I have an open cup of water on my desk too, so hopefully I don't knock that over. Step, point, over, throw. So when you see it bounce back right in front of the camera, that means I hit it just right above my phone, which is kind of eye level, which is exactly where I'm trying to throw it, right? I'm gonna let go right when it's about right at my eyes. Step, point, over, throw. We're gonna go with the tennis ball this time. Ooh. Step, 
point over throw. Step point over throw. And if you guys are out of balls, you can just do the motions or I will count down from 10 and give you some time to pick up some of the stuff you already threw. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. So we are going to do this three more times. If you don't have something, just do the motions. If you have something, let's get ready. Step, point, over, throw. Two more times. Step, point, over, throw. And last one. Step, point, over, throw. All right, guys, that is something you can always practice in your room. You can practice against a wall. You can practice outside. Um, I actually really like using tennis balls because they are about the size of a softball, but they're a little bit lighter. They won't scuff up your walls and they're a lot easier to practice with just because they are, again, a lot lighter than a softball. So that is always a good option. And socks are a really good option too. Just roll them up in the shape of a ball and you can do that all day long. Just sitting against your wall, step point, over, throw. Good job. Let's get ready for our next skill. If you guys can't tell, I'm super excited about this thing. I love it. We are gonna do some target practice. So get a laundry basket, a hula hoop, a hamper, a trash can, anything that you can throw something into and get ready for some target practice in three, two, one. So something we normally do at camp is a bucket toss challenge. I am gonna do a kind of laundry blanket basket challenge, but we normally do it during challenge night. It's really good target practice. So what we are going to do is, again, you can just find a spot on the floor. You can grab a basket, a chair, whatever you have around you that you can aim at and stand about 10 feet away. So I'm gonna go two, three. About right here. And just underhand toss it and see how many times I can get it in this basket. There's no real, real strategy to it. It's just focusing on hitting your target. So if it's a spot on the wall, if it's a chair, a plant, a bucket, whatever you're using is fine. And just see, again, how many times you can hit that target. Something that I like to do is try to only focus on exactly what I'm throwing at, try not to look to my left or to my right, and just keep my eyes right on where I'm trying to aim. So that was my target practice, and we actually have a video from Melissa Warner, and she's gonna show us her target practice. So another good way to do the bucket toss or the target practice challenge is to hold up some socks, hold up gloves, and try to toss them into your laundry basket. So Audrey Janicek from Bethlehem County made a video for us to show us her version of a bucket toss challenge. Hey everybody, this is Audrey. This is my bucket challenge. Let's see how many shots that I can make with three full socks into that basket. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, yay! Get three socks in that basket. Get, bye. Hey guys, get ready to do some batting. All right, so we're gonna practice some batting together now. If you have somebody with you, they can throw some balls at you. If you don't have somebody with you, you can just throw them up to yourself and practice that way. I missed that one, let's try again. If you don't have somebody with you, you can just throw it up and practice that way. So if you do have somebody, I missed both of those. But if you do have somebody to throw balls with you, hands together, take it up off your shoulder. Remember, you're gonna step, swing all the way around and keep that back foot down on the ground. Something, again, that's a good trick is think about maybe somebody put a book on your foot, somebody standing on top of your foot so you can't pick it up.
If you guys have your water with you, go ahead and take a little water break right now because we are about to do a camp favorite. Everybody always wants to practice this skill when we're at camp and that skill is pitching. So in three, two, one, action. All right, guys, I am so excited to do some pitching with you. Pitching is the favorite skill at camp. Everybody wants to practice pitching all the time. So I have my camp shirt back on baseball softball themed and i'm so excited to do this with you guys Ooh, can anybody else do that i'm a very bad juggler but make sure you have your water ready and whatever you're using as a softball um again paper towels socks tennis balls softball whatever you're gonna use get that ready and if you have your glove handy you can use that too first we're gonna go through the skills and go through the steps, kind of step-by-step -step motions, and then we will do some practice together. I am going to demonstrate for you guys sideways because it's really important to see the whole body and the mechanics of pretty much from your shoulder down to your feet when we are pitching. You probably have seen a lot of times softball players do this kind of pitching, the windmill where they go all the way around their body. We do not do that at camp. We do an underhand pitch, so it is going to look more like this, and I will show you guys sideways how that looks. So your glove hand, if you have your glove on or if you don't have your glove on, that's fine. You're gonna take a step forward with that foot. My glove is on my left hand, so I'm taking a step forward with my left foot. I'm bringing my arm back just so it's in a straight line and my other hand is gonna go forward. So you're gonna be kind of in that T again, just like throwing. But now you're gonna go under, let go of the ball right around your hip, and follow through. So when I say follow through, what I mean is after you let go of the ball, your arm doesn't stop right here. Your arm keeps going until your elbow is pointed forward. If you don't follow through, what's going to happen is you're either going to pitch super low to the ground like that, I just hit the floor, or you are going to pitch super high like that, and I just hit almost my ceiling. So again, you're going to take a step forward with the foot that is the same hand as your glove. You're going to point your glove, bring your hand back, go under, let go right around your hip, and follow through. So when you're done, your body should look something like this. Your elbow should be pointed and your glove hand should be down by your side. So I have one tennis ball left. I'm gonna take a minute here and gather up the rest of my tennis balls and we can go through that one more time. All right, I'm back. I have a glove full of tennis balls. Let's go through that step-by-step -step a few more times and then we can practice some pitching. So, We are going to take our step forward, point our glove. When you're pointing your glove, you're pointing it where you are trying to pitch. So in that strike zone, we talk about the strike zone a lot. When you're batting, you are swinging at strikes, which means the ball is coming between your chest and kind of your hip line. So that's also where we want to throw it, right? If somebody is batting, we want to throw it in between these two lines on their body. So that's where we're going to point our glove. So I'm taking a step, I'm pointing my glove in the strike zone, bringing my arm back, let go, and following through. So again, you should look something like this when you're done pitching. Your elbow's pointed straight, your glove is down by your side, and you should be pitching some pretty nice strikes that way. I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate facing forward. Let's do the motions five times together. Don't need to throw the ball, just go through the steps. Step, bring your arms out, release, and follow through. So five, step, arms out, release, and follow through. Four, step, arms out, release, and follow through. Three, step, arms out, release, and follow through. Step, arms out, release, and follow through. 
lift up, arms out, release, and follow through. One more time. Step, arms out, release, and follow through. That might have been more than five times. Honestly, I lost count. All right, guys, we're actually gonna take a quick little detour, a little room tour before we practice pitching for real because I just realized I'm practicing in my room and you see this little picture behind us here? It is a really fun camp memory. You can't really see it with the glare, so I'm gonna pull it off the wall, but from a trip to the lake at camp one year, so... It's just such a fun memory that I have that's always on my wall. If you guys have never been to camp before, I really hope you get to come and make really fun memories like this one and hopefully end up on my fridge or my wall where all of my fun camp pictures are. After that quick little detour to look at some pictures, I am ready to do some pitching with you. I have a glove full of golf balls and tennis balls. If you guys have somebody with you, have them stand on the other side of the room and catch for you or pick up the balls that you're pitching. If you don't have somebody with you, you can just pitch against a wall or if you're outside, just pitch out into the, into the world. Um, we are gonna start with 10 pitches, so let's get ready. I'm gonna do some sideways and some forward to show you guys the motions, but get ready. We are gonna pitch for real this time. Remember, we're not going all the way around. We are just going underhand. So, we are going to step, point, release, and follow through. That follow through, I can't say it enough, the most important thing. Let's go again. Step, point, Release and follow through. So that time I let go up here. I didn't let go up my hips. So I let go up there and the ball went way too high. Make sure we are releasing right at our hips, right here. Let's go again. That point, release and follow through. That one went perfectly straight. It was a perfect strike. I let go right at my hips and I followed through and it was a beautiful pitch right in the strike zone. I'm gonna use these little guys now. Step, point, release, and follow through. All right, I'm gonna do some forward now. You guys can face whatever direction you want. I just wanna give you guys the best view and an example that's gonna work for you at home. So step, point, release, and follow through. You can see that was a strike too because you can see kind of where it hit the camera, but release right at my hip and follow all the way through. Step, point, release, and follow through. That was a perfect strike too. I knocked you guys over again. As you can tell, this is my first time doing virtual camp, so hopefully we don't have to do this next year, but if we do, I will be much better at filming. Step, point, release, and follow through. Let's do two more and I will give you guys a second to gather up all the materials that you're using. Step, point, release, and follow through. Step, point, release, and follow through. All right, let's take a second pick up whatever you need to pick up. If you have somebody with you, ask them to hand you back your materials. And we will do it a few more times. So I have all my materials ready to go. Glove full of balls. I don't know about you guys, but this is actually making me feel nice and warmed up. I actually feel like this is a good little workout. Right. So step, point, release, and follow through. Step, point, release, and follow through. Step, point, release, and follow through. That time we haven't talked about this, but I let go behind me. Let me show you this way. 
I released back here. So I pitched a ground ball that time. It went right on the floor. The reason we want to let go right at our hip is because it gives us the best chance of pitching into that strike zone. So again, if I let go over here, I'm gonna pitch a ground ball. If I let go up here, I'm gonna pitch a fly ball. And we want to pitch right in that batter's strike zone. Ready? I put too many balls in my glove. Step, point, release, and follow through. Step, point, release, and follow through. Three more times. Step, point, release, and follow through. Step, point, release, and follow through. You guys probably heard that. I knocked over some stuff on my desk, but it was a good pitch, it was a strike, so I will take it. And we're gonna do one more here. Step, point, release, and follow through. Well, that is our pitching lesson for today. I hope you guys learned something and I hope you guys had fun practicing and watching me goof up a little bit. Thanks. All right, friends, thank you so much for doing virtual softball with me today. I hope that you guys had a great time. I hope that you guys will share your experience and talk to your friends, families, coaches from camp about it. Let us know how it went. I hope that you guys have a really great rest of the day and week at virtual camp. I'm definitely watching, so don't forget, I'm participating with you too. And if you guys have never been to camp before and this is your first sports camp experience, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. And I hope that we get to host you at the village next year and we get to see some new faces and that you guys will get to experience camp at the village too. So I will see you guys later and I hope you have a really good rest of the day. Bye. Rotate!